Hey yo, what's up guys? Zanecraft here. Welcome back to another new video. Um, so today we are going to talk about um, what you have just seen for the past few days. The video I uploaded this week. Um, for a teaser trailer of a movie I've been working on called The Curse of 2170. But, if you know me personally, this isn't technically new, but it is at the same time. So I'm here to explain what is going on, okay? So, what's basically going on is that The Curse of 2170 was a series I did back in um, 2020. And, um, it was, it was something I came up with at the beginning of the a year, and, um, I did. And I had a script for it and everything, and I had plans to finish it, but then COVID hit, and I couldn't see my friends, and they were crucial to the ending, so I could never finish it. So, I just left it as it was, but then once I was revisiting this channel to turn it into a Folio Music channel, I privated The Curse of 2170 this year. Um, I wanted to check it out again, and, um, it was beyond bad, and I was shocked how much, mis how many mistakes I made, and how little it was good. So, when looking at it again, I decided, and thinking that I think, uh, oh, no, 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 I decided to touch it up. So, making some touch-ups to it, putting it all together into a movie instead of a series. Um, and basically, once I have it all touched up, I, I also add some new scenes so it can finally get an ending and I can put a close to the series that I started over a year ago and never finished. It's, so yeah. Uh, it's an homage to ARG's Hunting for Hero Brian, if you've ever seen it. I'll link it in the description, but it's a really good series, and I felt heavily inspired by that. And there are a lot of scenes similar, and there are a lot of the whole storyline. But my ending is definitely different from his, but at the same time, it's still mysterious enough, and you, it's up to you to choose the ending. I'm just, I'm not giving spoilers, but trust me, it's a good ending. So, anyways... Um, basically what's going on is the clips you've seen from the teaser. Yes, those are old scenes. Those are old scenes, but I worked on it better and the old clips are edited enough to where they work. I can't believe how brain dead I was back in 2020 and how bad I handled making skit content. It's just so weird how brain dead I was. So let me explain it here. In the curse of 2170, the day four, the final day I ever filmed back in in April, or at least this one, but the but day four, um it before the climax, I go down to the basement, as you know, that's where everything happens and everything. Uh uh, like, you know, the basement is where Fredrickson is, and you'll understand once you see the movie, but um, I go down to the basement to investigate, and I find this bag, and the bag's canonicity is now changed. You'll find out, um, you, 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 I, I don't know what it is yet. I'm still scripting, but uh, the canonicity of the bag is changed, but you will find out by the end of the movie what it is. But anyways, um... The canonicity of the bag has changed, but before, I cannot believe how dead I was. So apparently, in the bag in my head, once I looked at it, totally pulled it out of my ass, that's why I handled it so badly, is that Fredrickson severed my dad's limbs. And I'm like, uh, I can't show that on camera, but I think he severed my dad's limbs. No, 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 I'm, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming. Which is exactly not how I would act. Not how anyone would act. Only a fucking sociopath would act like that if their dad's limbs got severed. I swear to God, it was beyond brain dead. And it just made me actually 
cringe the fuck out. It's just so awful. But anyways, um, I fixed it now. The canonicity will be different. And uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. But I know it will be good. And the ending right now in my head is really good. I had a little test with my therapist because she was asking about it and stuff because I was talking about it. And she says it's a pretty good ending, even though it's just a draft. So, yeah. I think you guys are really going to like this. So, yeah. Like I was saying, though, the old scenes were for the teaser. But once I am done with the new scenes, which I'm probably going to currently be filming this weekend or the weekends I have, um, trailer one, official trailer, will have some of the new scenes which include flashbacks, dreams, the ending, obviously. Just, like, it's going to be incredible. Trust me. This is going to be good. And um, I'm working on my little own horror score for for um, the ending, the just, like, in general, just, like, multiple scores for it. And right now it seems pretty good, and I'm actually getting help from my mom. She's helping out me out with, like, what kind of instruments they use for... Um, horror scores and yeah I think it's pretty good so far but it's just I I don't know I feel like you guys will like this F the response from the trailer has been really good it, it might only because be because it's 50 seconds so that's easy but but um yeah I really thank people's response on the trailer and the fan art or no not the fan art the art I've made for it and everything and I just feel so ready to put this to a close. I don't know. It just feels like a relief. You know, now thinking about it, and I thought about this with my therapist as well, I put so much focus on all this other stuff that I barely had anything done, i.e. the comedy rap album. I put so much focus on it. And obviously that's good. It's obviously good to get your mind off something. But if you're constantly in fucking anger just just trying over and over again just to make a beat or just to like make lyrics or something and not being able to do it you need to work on something that you know for a fact it's close to being finished this this movie is around probably 80 percent complete like i just need a few more tweaks on it so so maybe 78 so I just need like tiny little tweaks on the past scenes. Then boom, new scenes. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to do. That's all I got to do. Just make the new scenes, tweak tweak the other stuff and I'm done. Make the make those scores and then boom, it's done. I premiere it on Halloween. It's just it's just like so much easier and it's more of my style that I just want to do it. I'm not saying give up i'm saying do something that makes you happy and if that something is different from what you want to focus on or just like a different project if you're like a youtuber like me and it's just like a different project from i didn't put on my glasses if if it's a different project from what you were focusing on before it's okay to focus on it because at least you are happy. If it makes you happy, um, just go for it. And that's what matters most. You keep your happiness and you do what you're passionate about. I was passionate about the album. Now I'm passionate about this. Doesn't mean I'm giving up on the album. I'm totally into that. And I'm totally getting everything ready. I just need to figure shit out with my beats and everything. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um... As you guys know, The Curse of 2170, a uh, full movie, will be premiering on Halloween, October 31st, this Sunday. Or, not this Sunday. This year, um, the 31st is a Sunday, so you guys should be able to watch it if you're not going trick-or-treating. I don't know what time I'm going to premiere it. Probably night. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I think you guys are going to love and enjoy it. So anyway, get, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe and um and turn on notifications so you don't miss an update and a new video and also i finally am excited to plug this and i'll make a video next week for it 
my Discord. I have a Discord now. My official Discord is finally done with testing. I worked on it last year, totally forgot about it, but brought it back this year, specifically last slash this week, and now it is finished and it's an alpha phase. So go join that. There are updates for uh, updates and talks about gaming, mo movies, uh, YouTube, music, just a ton of stuff. There are going to be behind the scenes content on there for anything specific of mine, music, movies, gaming, you get the point. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.